Okay, so the question is, how do I know when I've done my titration enough times that I can use those results? And the answer is precision. So precision is a measure of how repeatable your answer is. How close to the same answer do you get? And when you're doing a titration in the lab here, you should be able to get a precision of getting all of your answers within 0.1 of a milliliter, or 0.1 centimeters cubed. What does that mean? Well, it gives you an accuracy of plus or minus 0.05 centimeters cubed. In practical terms, what does that mean? What should my results look like? Well, it means that if you take your smallest result away from your biggest result, the difference should be no more than 0.1 milliliters or 0.1 centimeters cubed, those being the same unit. So let's pick some examples and see. So suppose I record the following results. Well, uh, 12.72, 12.43, 12.45, and 12.37. So I've done my four titrations and I say, is this enough? Well, as a matter of course, we discard the first one because we know that it was just a rough titration we were trying to establish roughly where the endpoint was. Now, if we take the lowest value here, 12.37, away from 12.45, so let's take 0.45, we can ignore the 12, so I'll cancel out, minus 0 0.37, we'll see that the difference is 0 0.08. So in this case, yes, we are sufficiently uh, happy with our precision that we can use those results. Let's try another example. What if you get 17.60, 17.70, 17.80? Well, there's a one in a thousand chance that you'll get three zeros as your final digit, three times in a row. So if you're getting a lot of zeros at the end, you want to check how you're reading your VRS. And of course, we've obviously, you know, had some other number that we've discarded out of this that was our rough titration in the, to begin with to let us establish a rough range. What about these? Well, you might be given to thinking that, well, the difference between this is 0.1 and the difference between this is 0.1, so you're okay. But the total difference has to be 0.1. So if you take 17.60 away from 17. 0 0.80, then you'll see that you're left with 0 0.20, and that is not good enough. It's larger than the answer that we want, or it's larger than the precision. You're not precise enough in your measurements. So what do you do in this case? Well, repeat it a third time, and chances are it'll either fall into between these two results or between these two results, in which case you can discard your outlier. So I hope that helps. Give the Moodle questions a go, and if you have any questions, Put them up on the forum at the top of the page.